Coming from a big, fat Italian family, guilt is nothing new. Although, it seems like every ethnicity has their own uh, spin on guilt, whether you're Jewish or Greek or Italian or pretty much anything else. And so I think guilt just comes with every culture. And I say that you know, tongue in cheek, but it's, uh, it's pretty much a thing. So how does that relate to you being a caregiver? And there is something called caregiver guilt. And whether that's put on to you by your um, ethnicity, your culture, or just your parents um, wanting to give you a guilt trip, many people tell their parents, like, I'll never put you in the home, and I promise to never, um, I'll take care of you. And, and those sound really good, and, and people, I think, often mean them when they say them. But these days, with people having children later in life, most, if not uh, the majority, of households are now multiple income to income households. And the sandwich generation, whereas you're trying to take care of your parents while you're also trying to raise your kids and have a full-time job, things are different than they used to be. It used to be you know, one spouse was out working, the other spouse stayed home with the kids. By the time the kids got out and on their own, now both sets of parents were getting old. And so the homemaker caregiver role just switched from taking care of the kids to taking care of the old folks. And that happened for generations. But these days, things are different. People are living longer, not necessarily healthier. So if you find yourself in that sandwich generation, reach out to an elder law attorney. We can be a great resource and we can help you with your caregiver guilt. We can help find in-home health care options so you can kind of keep your promise that I'll never put you in the home. Okay, let's hire some people to come in and help you because I may not be able to do it myself. I'm kind of busy running a business and raising children. So we have resources. There's adult daycare resources. There is in-home care. There is um, a million things that we can do to not uh, violate our promise to our family members often and still get them the care that they need. And often, again, the elder law attorney can be the central um resource that can pull in all of the other resources necessary, financial, spiritual, emotional, caregiving, you name it, we can do it. And if we don't have the answer, we can find the answer for you. So rely on your elder law attorney to help you in your caregiving journey. And I can't fix your guilt, but I can at least give you some tools to work around it. Have a great day.